Science in Spectre's Nerf Workshop. Hi, I'm Spectre, and I will be your host today. <laughs> that was really cringy, I will never do that again. This is a stress test. I'm actually testing brand new FVJ darts with the bloody katana at 100 psi, and we are going to test the effects of cyclical high pressure stress on darts. As you can see here, this is a Reaper Sniper Stefan that lost its tip due to high cyclical stressor. Stress pressure. Stressor? Hey, I should really make that a new word. Alright, so just going to fire off 10 shots and just going to continue reloading it and doing it over and over again and, and sort of observe the effects on darts over time. Here we go. Ignoring the ridiculously tight grouping, you're in good condition. That was unused straight out of the box, like literally unwrapped on pla uh, from plastic just before doing this. So these are literally brand new darts for the sake of consistency. I'm going to put these 10 through multiple times and hopefully you'll be able to see the effects of high pressure. 100 psi is not dark material. Well, we'll see how long it takes them to die. Two, three, four, five. Oh, here we go. Got our first live, two live specimens. So, in these two darts here, you should be able to see the, the pressure crack. Two cycles in at 100 psi. See? Pressure, these will still fire, as I'll demonstrate in a second, but. This isn't a long-term sort of solution for darts, even here with how cheap they are. You don't want to sort of rock up to an event with 2,000 darts and go home with well, 200 because you've blown up most of them. Here's your first complete fracture, as you can see. Glue has actually broken on the dart, and there's a pressure crack through the foam. So we'll do that again. Nine left. Now, I'm sure you heard a misfire there. I'm sure you heard it, because I saw it. And then there were eight. Physical proof. You saw the tip fly off the dart, and then the foam exited on the next shot. High compression is not good for these bad girls. You're better off going with a slightly higher volume, slightly lower pressure system. About 60 to 70 PSI would be as maximum as I'd recommend. So now there were eight, I believe. Yep. Now there are eight. Funny enough, still a new dart. Not a single sign of wear. This is just goes to show you the inconsistency in dart manufacture. Some are just amazing, some are just shite. Another really, really good one. You're not even seeing any fragmentation on the tip at the other end either. And that one, the next one goes in that has pressure crack and, funny enough, it also has some glue delamination. So when I fired this one through, third from last, it should actually burst next one. Same with this one, it will also burst. And this one, might, might not. So those, are, those ones are going to be uh, four, five, and six. Here's three going in, that's uh, fractured. Two is about to go in with one pressure crack. And first shot off the rank is immaculate. Yep, good. All right, the rest, two, three, four, five, six, are all going to be cracked, so if they fracture, that is expected. As expected, five out of five fractures. So now we're down to one fractured but working, which is one, two, three. We have four darts left after four cycles, and all four of them are sporting a stress fracture of some description. Cycle five, still functional. Still functional. Still functional. Still functional. No tips, burst, that kind. 
but four is is ready to burst. Three is also ready to burst. Two, immaculate condition. One, immaculate condition. I don't know why it is. There are multiple variables that could be going on here causing that. Okay, so one, two, no problems. Three, delamination. Four. Basically, look at that. Look at that. And so we're down to two. And, I mean, we could probably sit here for a while bop, uh, bopping these two through, but I'm going to try and do this quicker. There we go. So, there you go. We're down to one really good and one just burst. So, that time, you can actually see the fracture now. It's finally burst through. Last dart. Let's just see how many more cycles. So, we, I believe that was six, cycle six. Seven. Now we're seeing a fracture. Eight. Larger fracture. Delamination on the ninth cycle. So, ten darts all lasted less than ten cycles. Less than ten cycles each from brand new condition. This is a really good reason not to run a high pressure system. I did it deliberately for the sake of this and because I also buy darts in ridiculous bulk, and so it, they're sort of really, really expendable to me. Especially since most of the time I, in my workshop I test with old cheap darts, and if it works with old cheap crap darts, then even better for new ones. So, you can see that high pressure is not a long-term solution for darts, especially when it comes to air blasters like high spring loads might do something different that's a slower release of air this is a very rapid release of air so you can see that that problem actually is caused by the high speed and pressure i hope that was educational i hope you learned something hope to see you next time that's specters nerve workshop signing off